<clears throat> All right, another Polar Boat Steering Wheel Linkage, May 1st, 2024. So this end with the blue tip is just basically a cover like, like, I, like I expected. So you, and so you can see that this thing just screws in and the other end of the steering wheel cable goes into this and it now protects it from the elements. So if you notice now, if I turn the steering wheel to the left, this thing is going to get sucked in and then the other end goes out there. There. And then if I turn to the steering wheel to the right, it disappears out. And so this thing um, doesn't have to be removed or it could be removed, but ultimately <clears throat> it's a protector of the tip. So the salt water doesn't get into here or anything gets into here. So this is basically a reusable part. All right, let's just keep on turning this so we can get this thing out. It's gone. Oh, you know what? Let's just go back in so we can feel for that click. Supposedly, when you go all the way to the other side, so basically every time you turn the gears, it's kind of like a, like a snake. It grabs onto these splines here and it does its work. So let me go in. Make sure that's good. I'm supposed to hear a click. Well, anyways, oh, there he goes. You can hear the click. Well, it's not more more like click, but it's more like a resistance, and all of a sudden the resistance stop. So now I can turn the steering wheel. Oh, there, there was a click, and now. So I do the whole thing, I gotta put that clip back in. So listen for that click, and right before the click, it's kind of like a spring mechanism lifting up so you feel some tension. And then when it clicks, that means that the whole mechanism dropped down on that shiny part I was showing you earlier. And that's how this thing, that shiny part doesn't come back out with that little valley. All right.